four in the morning. I've been having contractions since about 1.45 a.m. every 10, 12 minutes. And they're getting more intense now. I didn't lose my water this time and there are no other symptoms. So I'm not sure if I'm in labor, but it really hurts. And my doctor told me to go to the hospital like an hour ago. I really don't want to go to the hospital and get an IE and then be told that I have to go home. So I'm trying to take my time and not rush so much and not pressure myself so that I'm also not super tired. Here we go. Can I tell mommy? You want to meet Shakti, huh? You want to listen. Mommy and Daddy will go to the hospital today. And then we will try to let Shakti come out, okay? Up, Baba, Mommy. Say, say hello to mommy. Up, Baba. Let's go out now. Mommy will and daddy will eat a little before we go to the hospital, okay? Open the mouth. Open the mouth. <laughs> ready? Ready, ready? Let's do this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't feel anything. Now, inhale, one, two, three, and push. Ten. Very good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, and push! Very good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, start, and then follow up. One, two, three, and push! Push! Good job. Ten.
This is my wedding garter because we can't find my biter. So forgive me if I look so weird. Also, I just tucked in my sando here because I had such a hard time trying to figure out how to get these dextrose things over my sleeve. But uh, first meal of the day. Actually, I had a piece of toast this morning. But we're so excited. Finally, it's finished. na. Dami kong kwento sa inyo, but kain na. Thank you to my mom. She cooked this dinner for me, for us. Because my cousin, for the soup, into hubs for my sandwich. Mostly for lunch, but my friend makakain. Whoa, she sent like cake. Oh, oh. Itzi, yeah. He just. That's so sad. We were looking for soap. Yeah. Hello, anyone? Anna, my soap, yeah. Lunchbox for my mom. Tuna sandwich from Hubs. Hubs's order is congee, and this is from my cousin. <gasps> and this is from Jas and Jen. Thank you guys so much. Yay! Hello, hello, hello! It's our second day here in the hospital. I wasn't able to check in with you guys. Anymore last night because it's sobrang pagod na pagod na pagod na kami. <sighs> but love, let's give them an update. Why are you hiding? I'm sleepy, pa. We slept like this. This is my bed here, and then Seder is on the sofa bed, and then we just kind of attached it together because we're so clingy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so explain na. Explain what happened by yesterday. Explain. So okay. Ikaw muna. Ikaw. We must magaling ka magstart then. Okay, so what happened was at 1.45 in the morning. Oh yeah, you woke me up. Oh no, you woke me up on 4. Yeah. 4 so, ba to? Yeah. Mm, 4, yeah. Okay. At 1.45 in the morning, I was having contractions na every 10 minutes. So I really timed it because I'm like, I don't want to go to the hospital thinking it's contractions when it's not. Hindi pala regular. And then they're just going to send me home. So parang nakapagod la, And then I have to wake him up pa and stuff like that. So I really timed it. Hanggang naging 4 a.m. na lang. And then it was still the same. Super strong contract. Hindi ako nakatulog kasi super strong talaga. Masakit siya. So I texted my doctor and my doctor said, go to the hospital. So inisip ko pa, sasabihin ko ba kay Slater, baka he'll force me to go to the hospital. Ayoko pa pumunta. Kasi on, online, it's like, you go every 5 minutes. Pag every 5 minutes yung contractions, that's when you go. At eh, 10 minutes pa. Mm. Ginising mo ako daw. Yeah, so I was like, okay, fine. I'll tell him na lang. It's I don't wanna... Mga... Because it's your second pregnancy, they say it progresses faster. Mm. So I didn't want to take the risk also no, just because I think so. I wanted to get his opinion. Mm -hmm. And then his opinion was, no, let's stay here first. No, it was you. <laughs> no, no, you also were the same. No, we had but the same opinion. You woke me up, sobrang groggy pa ako. And then sabi, sabi mo, love, I'm having contractions. Doc said we should go to the hospital. But can we wait a little bit because I don't want to have 
to spend a lot long time in the labor and the deli- delivery yeah. room. Sabi ko, oh, sige, ano ba ta- dapat? Sabi mo, five. Five minutes. Ngayon nasa ten. Wala pa, at that time, wala pa ten. Twelve. Oh, like, Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve minutes or ten minutes. Basta ito something like that lang. Anyway, so, we waited a bit until parang mga 6 a.m. Sabi ko, love, you really have to go na talaga. Kasi sobrang sakit na. Like, ibang level yung yeah. sakit. And you said, you wanted to say goodbye to Scotty first. Mm. And Scotty woke up mga f- almost 6. Uh. No. So, finally, you know, we spent a little time with Scotty. Slater packed his bag. Buto na lang talaga. Nakapack na namin kami. yung uh. hospital bag. Buto na lang talaga may YouTube. Because if walang YouTube... The, I wouldn't have to film a what's in my hospital bag video. <laughs> so I wouldn't have packed it early. So and then at that time when I was in pain, then I'd have to pack. So mm. it was super blessing in disguise. And then mm. buto na lang na... Na hindi tayo natutupak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was so fortunate. Like we were able to buy a lot of supplies beforehand. Like I think in my previous video, mm. you guys saw that we were running errands for the hospital. So parang super fortunate na handa na namin lahat. Right Swerte before. talaga tong whole pregnancy. Yeah, because Yung like, story namin in the ending part. Sige, go. Because like, um, 37 weeks. Who would expect na mga naka 37 weeks? It's uh-huh. so early, right? I swear to din na we got our PCR test early. Yeah, because I was working out. I really wanted the baby out na. Because it was so big. And I was so scared na mas yes. Mm. So my doctor told me you have to work out. You have to work out. So... There was this one day na I watched three YouTube videos on how to naturally induce labor. I did it all three in one sitting. Yung puro squats, puro mga ganun. And then that night, I lost my mucus plug. So I tested my doctor. I said, Doc, I lost my mucus plug. Sabi niya, get PCR test na tomorrow. Mm. So we got a PCR test, which you would have seen also if you watch our vlogs. Mm. And then, when I saw the doctor the next day, she said, that wasn't your mucus plug pa. So I'm like, oh my god, na- nasayang lang natin yung PCR test natin. Nagbayad pa tayo na paaga. Mm. Diba? We were saying, baka we need to take five PCR tests pa before this baby comes out. Mm. Buti na lang, we were able to take it kasi the next day, nanganak na ako. So pagdating namin sa hospital, uh, Chris was having contractions na and parang nagpo-progress na siya. So pagdating ko sa hospital, We got to the hospital mga 8 a.m. 8 na ba yun? Mm. I was 6 a.m. na, guys. And I remember... Mm. 6 to 7 cm and I remember when I was pregnant with Scott yung 6 to 7 cm dilated like I was shivering and I was dying like konti na lang animal na ako like ah! like ganun na yung level ng pain mm. but 6 to 7 nakayanan ko pa so it's a lot less painful this time around I don't know if it's mentally lang na mas prepared ako or less painful talaga siya the second time around pero I wasn't allowed in yet until si Chris would be ready to push na talaga. Kasi yung private delivery room, somebody got it now. There's only one. So we had to go to the public one. So see later, hindi makapasok until I was fully dilated, 10 cm. Mm. And when I was really pushing na. Oh. So, and then, dumating na si anesthesiologist, si Dr. Villarin. And then, wala pa si Dr. Mendoza, which would be Chris's OB. OB. And then, uh, this was at around 10 a.m. Wala pa. 11 a.m. Wala pa. Where's Doc now? Where's Doc? Yeah. So, hindi... Hindi... Na, di ba may i-inject sana sila sa'yo para mag-progress ka na? Yeah, the whole time, the residents were telling me, like, Ma'am, don't worry. This is super ideal. You're having... You're, you're progressing naturally. You're having strong contractions. Mm. You're dilating 1 cm per hour. So, sabi niya, super okay daw. But, ideally daw, sabi nila, it's better if you have contractions every two to three minutes and mm. I was only having it naturally every five minutes and it wasn't progressing so they wanted Doc to come here fast so that they could give me oxytocin which would make it contract faster and mm. stronger and make the labor time okay. make the labor time shorter mm. but the whole time Doc wasn't here yet yes. and then I just talked to her now she just came here she was saying that, like she was cursing the whole time because it was like Murphy's Law like one thing led to another na, na flat like First, my patient siya na she had to do some surgery on it. Everything was okay. Mm. And then like, every they checked all the scans, everything okay. And then when the patient got up, na kuya pa and fainted. Oh. So she had to stay longer. Pagdating pa sa parking lot, flat tire siya. Hindi siya makaalis sa where she was. So she had to pay up banana queue vendor to inflate her tire. <laughs> para lang she can make it to the gas station. 
you know? Uh-huh. And then like she had to buy all of the banana cues para lang just to say thank you. Uh, really? Yeah, that's why when she arrived, she was like, everybody eat banana cue! I have so much banana cue! <laughs> I remember when she entered the DR, she didn't even say hi to me. She was so stressed because mm. and daming ang nangyari, I remember. And then so she was like, oh, I have a patient, I have a patient. She's waiting for me, la la. So finally, when she arrived, it was around 1 p.m. Mm. Don't panela na start yung oxytocin. Then my bag didn't rupture yet. So when they broke my bag of water, she saw it was stained na. Because mm. nakapoop na pala yung BB inside. Oh. And then um, so I was pushing, I was pushing, and they were all laughing, having a great time. Like, and parang suddenly, positive ng vibe. Yeah, and then suddenly, everybody's like, stop talking. Tumahimik lahat. Sobrang natakot kami. And then I was like, I really wanna push. Can I push? Like, sobrang sakit ng chan ko. And they would not, like, no one would look at me and no one would answer me. And then na ay to ay ko yung resident because I wouldn't shut up. I kept asking them, like, what's happening? What's happening? And then she just looked at me and didn't say anything. I'm like, uh oh. Suddenly, they're opening me, covering me. I got scissors. I'm like, oh my god, she's gonna cut me. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Mm. Apparently, the baby moved around so much. The cord coil siya, so the umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck. Uh-huh. And when I was pushing, it was getting the cord tighter around his neck. And because the placenta is unyielding, it was stuck to me pa. The placenta's there, which is connected to the cord, and the baby's going down, so it's like really mm. like choking him. So she had to get me out like super duper fast, otherwise emergency CS. Yes. And the heartbeat was dropping, and the and the, there was poop na inside the the water, something mm. like that. So as in, I asked her, Doc, were you scared at this point? She was like, Yeah, I was so scared. I'm like, Oh my god. Diba, I told you na sobrang swerte, and nakala mo na oh, was nothing. Yeah, and then Zader was telling Doc, na, paglabas ni baby, eggplant daw siya. Eggplant color, like purple. Cause he, the baby almost. Like, didn't choke. make it. Choke. Uh, yeah. And then... Basta, it's just one unfortunate event. After yeah, like, but, Doc was saying, I'm so sorry, God, because I kept cursing at you and saying, why is this happening? And at the end of the day, you realize, like, it's for... Like, it was to save me. It was to save this baby. Because if napaaga daw si Doc and they gave the oxytocin earlier, lalong mas delikado for the baby and guaranteed daw talaga emergency yun. Emergency CS uh, for some reason. Yeah. Kasi parang like, it would have contracted earlier some medical stuff. And then she so kept saying it was a good good thing na, na delay na siya and na late siya. And natural lahat. And natural lahat, yeah. And then she was say, the, the residents that were telling her like, Doc, she's not progressing. Like, you have, like, can we speed it up? And Doc was like, no. Wait for me because I don't want to speed it up. And if something happens, I'm not there. Mm. So puto na lang talaga. Oh, because if if they gave the medicine and the doctor was not there, you would have to deal with a different doctor. I don't know what would have or happened. Or a resident doctor that wouldn't know the history. I don't know. I don't might, know. Might have been a lot more complicated. Plus CS emergency pa yun. So yeah. that's why so much worth ni ni Shoti. And then Doc was saying pa na she she was super scared na she seemed calm, di ba? They wouldn't answer me na, mm. but her brain was like on overdrive na daw. Narinig ko yung ano eh, yung heartbeat monitor na tit. It's supposed to be yung dug 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 dug. And then I can see the number It was 130, and then it dropped to like 40, and then nag alarm yung machine. Ah, yeah, that's why yun, pala, kasi yeah, hindi mo nakikita yung number. Yeah, that's what she oh. was saying. Like, the heartbeat dropped already. She was scared. What she did was, she got, they covered me, all of a sudden, they covered me with a different cloth and something. And then, she got the scissors, she gave me an epi- 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 episiotomy, mm. which is like when they cut you down there. I know it sounds so gross. But then, in her head, she was like, this is something I can repair if I got it. But the, like, I want to repair anything I can, basta hindi yung baby. Mm. So, yun. And then, she kind of, ran on top of me and started asking me to push and then she would push also on my stomach. Mm-hmm. So it got the baby out super fast. So even if na cord coil, parang it was okay because it was so fast. Grabe, sobrang swerte. And like, swerte uh-huh. din ako na maaga siya umali, like dumating because on Thursday, she he was 6.5 pounds. Mm. Two days later, he gained 1 pound, 7 pounds, 10 ounces. Mas mabigat pa kay Scotty. Uh-huh. Kung naghintay kami na 39 weeks, 14 weeks, oh my god, CS talaga like 9 pounds na yung bata. Like, ewa ko na lang. <laughs> yeah. So, all in all, everything worked out for the best. And, and daming instances where it could have turned for the worst talaga. So, we'd say we're very, very lucky. We're very and, uh, lucky. Good job pushing very, very hard. Yeah. Si Chris, kawawa nang pupush siya. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> I've never pushed that hard in my life. <laughs> Okay, so we're just so happy with this whole experience. I think the experience... Yeah, every, everything was super positive. Everybody was 
like rooting for us like the environment yeah. was super positive i remember like okay time to push one two three push push you can do it good job go i'm like wow like <laughs> my I cheerleader siya <laughs> kaya ko tong ilabas kung wala yung support system doon and to think they didn't have never even met me <laughs> diba and i was telling doc na kanina na it's no okay, they doc. met you before because a lot of them like half the people there were the same people that from Scott's uh, from Scott's delivery. yeah but parang I really felt so comfortable I was scared nga. I was telling Slater na, I'm so sad that you're not gonna be able to make it with me in the private room mm-hmm. I don't want I don't think I can do this alone na parang sobrang sakit I was nanginginig I was shouting buto na si Slater for the first time I can't imagine doing it another time na mag isa lang but well, wala akong choice kasi hindi available yung private room and I didn't feel alone at all because the, the resident doctors were so kind like if ever the contractions ako, they would rub me, they'd stay beside me, they'd beat me chica if they saw I was tired, if I was sleeping, they'd make me sleep lang. Like, mm-hmm. never nila ako iniwan. And I was t- telling Doc nga this morning na, there was this one resident, she, I think her name was Doc Elaine or something. She told me na, I'm gonna endorse you to the next resident ha, because my shift is over. Parang kanina pa yung shift niya natapos. I remember, mm-hmm. I, I overhear her talking with other doctors na parang they were all telling her to go home. And then, sabi ko, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So parang na-endorse na siya, la la. And then, nung nag-push na ako, nandun pa rin siya. Hindi siya umalis. So, parang, my God, she must have been so tired, but she really stayed with me. All the midwives, like, they remember me from Scotty pa. Shemper, we're so happy to be sharing this journey again with you guys. You guys are always here for us. Um, another member of the Sky Fam. Can you believe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sky Fam number two. And waiting for number three. Waiting for number three. At this moment, at this very moment, hindi pa kami naka-decide ng name. No, at this very moment, is there a possibility for a baby number three? Ha? Huh? Name yung pinag-usapan ko. I was just saying number three. three. Yeah. <laughs> na. <laughs> but like everyone here is telling us to have baby number three because they keep saying it gets easier. Mm. Pero after today, na parang after yung, oh my god, it, things can turn sour so fast pala. Like, natakot na ako. Ayoko na. Anyway, I think that's the nursery. Um, We're gonna go see baby na. Hello. Hmm. He's my yayo today. <laughs> okay, so we just found out that uh, something with BB. <laughs> we have to go down and check up on him. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're glad to share this milestone, another important milestone with you guys. We're so happy and lucky to have you here. That being said, I uh, can't wait to see you in the next video with baby number two. Bye, guys. Mwah. Time to go home. Okay.